And she came, and she told she came in and told Charlotte to move. Look at the both of them. Five, Charlotte's looking like Charlotte's looking like. Why can't I stand here? Why can't I stand next to her? And five looking like. Did you just tell my woman to move? <laughs> they both she. Charlotte looking like. Why can't I stand next to my woman? And five looking like. Did you just tell my woman to move? Am I the only one that's seeing that? I probably am. Look, I was. I haven't had much sleep. I'm drinking coffee right now. I told y'all I was up being delusional. What's up, Solicit Nation? It's your girl, Nikki, and I'm back with another Unsolicited Truth Reaction. Hello, if you're new. Welcome back. If you're not, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below so we can keep this party going. And please, guys, continue to watch the ads, continue to hit the thanks button, continue to subscribe, continue to hit the join button and become a member. Do all the things that help me continue to do this for you guys full time. I love you guys for the support, and I appreciate you, and I promise to continue giving you guys all this great content as long as you guys continue to support me the way you have and the way you do. So, with that being said, look. I'm, on my, I'm working on my day off, so y'all better run this up. I'm working on my day off. Look, let me, I got my, you know what I'm saying? I got my Sailor Moon shirt on. I got my, and I, 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 I will always love you, a Whitney Houston mug, because I'm about to get into some things, right? I got a rabbit hole for y'all. Now, um, I messed around. <laughs> I, I told you how my sleep schedule, if you don't know, I think I mentioned this before, my sleep schedule is all kinds of jacked up, right? So basically what happens is I normally fall asleep around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and then I normally wake up anywhere between 2 to 3, and then I'm normally up until about 5, 5, 30, and then I fall asleep, and then I wake up at 7. Every day. Every day. That's literally what it is. So normally when I wake up in the middle of the morning, um, or the middle of the night, depending on how you uh, phrase it, uh... I normally get on Twitter and I just see what's going on because it's a way for me to catch up. You know what I'm saying? With Inglot or Freeing Becky or what's going on on the rest of the world. Because I also look at just global news in general. And most, the rest of the world is up when, you know, we're asleep over here in America. And so, um, last night I came across something and, you know, it caught my attention. Now, I had seen the tweet earlier yesterday and I liked it, but I didn't necessarily agree with it. I was like, oh, nah, y'all are being delusional. Well, in the middle of the night, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the middle of the night, I grabbed a ticket and I hopped on that Delulu train just to see where it was going to end up. And when I tell you that it went from being delusional to conspiratorial to factual and actual and proven, I was flabbergasted. So I got a rabbit hole for y'all today that I'm going to take you down. But real quick, before I get into the rabbit hole, I got to address this because I see some of the new Inglot fans, and I'm a new Inglot fan. I've only been a fan. Look, I've literally only been following the girls like astutely, I'll say for like a month and a half, right? Um, <clears throat> and I'm not nutting up the way some of these people are nutting up because of the way Charlotte and Fa are acting towards each other during the MGT events today. Y'all do realize that April is the active month for them, right? Like, this is the month all the girls showed up. This is where they got to lock in and they have to fulfill, really truly fulfill their roles um and their positions within the company um whether that be fifth runner-up for charlotte and what all that entails doing all the things that she's doing or whether that be first runner-up miss grand international and then you know queen miss grand thailand for for fa the fa is the face of mgt right now and probably even more so going forward and so she's going to be extremely busy this month she's already been extremely busy it started kind of last month with all her personal projects and now with the MGT thing, everything is kind of like crescendoing, right? So a lot of people saw this this little interaction between them. I don't know why I need it. Ooh, calm down. It's loud. A lot of people saw this little interaction between them. I'm gonna start it from the jump so you guys can see. So five they're doing the red carpet or not the red carpet, but they're doing this is the um opening ceremony, the welcoming ceremony. And Ing Fa, of course, being the face of the Miss Grand Thailand, you know, they everybody's running to take pictures with her. So Charlotte is asked to take a picture with her. Charlotte walks on to take the picture with her. Charlotte does what Charlotte would normally do. Charlotte goes and stands next to Fa. Now, mind you, there's only three people in this picture. So the fact that Charlotte went and stood next to Fa and didn't go immediately to go stand next to the other chick to balance it out, it shows what she, she was just moving by default. So she goes to stand next to Fa. Okay. Now what you can't see is off screen when you see Charlotte look over and then you see Fa look over right there. 
you see a hand come in. This woman was telling Charlotte, no, to balance the picture out, I need you to move to the other side. <laughs> now, there's an angle where it actually shows how Charlotte and Fah looked at that woman when she told Charlotte to move, and they both looked like they wanted to slap that hoe. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you that in a second, but let me let this play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this play in its entirety, and then I'm gonna respond, and then I'm gonna show you what I tweeted out, because people were nutting up. So... Charlotte goes to stand, she takes, she goes to smirk to take the picture. Lady asked her to move. Fa thought she was talking about all of them. She it, but they didn't adjust. They adjust. The lady goes and stands on the other side. I mean, Fa, Charlotte goes and stands on the other side. And then they take the picture. She bows, says her thanks, and then she walks off. And everybody was like, oh my God, they're not looking at each other. What does it mean? Because like, they're like, must be fighting. And it's so cold. And at this moment was sweet and sour because it was like she was standing next to her and then she wasn't and she moved. It was like, oh my God, what do I do? Relax. They are in full blown work mode right now. Y'all want Ingla, and I said, I tweeted this. I said, y'all want Ingla moments every moment. And that's not realistic. I, this is literally what I said. I said, I'm not seeing what everyone else is seeing. I see Charlotte come to stand next to Fa. The crowd ooze. Then she starts to smirk. Staff asks her to move and she relocates, takes the pick and keeps it moving. This is going to be a busy month for them with all the MGT events. Relax. And the reason why I said relax, because like I said, there were people that were like, really just like, they really think that these two are having a fight. Now, the reason why I'm starting here is because this is actually a great segue into my rabbit hole. Because I have noticed that over the last couple of days, especially since the start of April, literally since the uh, uh, since their anniversary, the England anniversary, everybody's been like, oh my God, this is something's weird. This is, they're distant and da 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 da. And uh, now, you have to understand that at the same time as their anniversary, a whole bunch of BS happened with Rainbow Gang and, you know, drama between them and Nawat and the company. Now, I'm going to get into it. Zub Zone was so gracious and so kind as to translate um, pretty much the whole ordeal. So I will be reacting to that tomorrow. Like I said, today's my day off. I'm just giving you guys this real quick special little rabbit hole. And then I'm hopping off and I'm trying to, you know, enjoy my day off. But um, this just couldn't wait till tomorrow. This couldn't wait till Friday. But you know they are in work mode and somebody had a somebody said something real good down here who was it damn it uh where was it man and then five first of all five looking like her whole her uh, arena of valor character that's who she came as when she, that is exactly who she came as can't nobody tell me she didn't um okay here it is it was mj maureen mj maureen said Relax, they're on work mode. Yesterday, Shah explained this. Fa has a role in the MGT until twenty until the 29th of this month. That's when she hands over her crown. She's the face of the organization. And also, Charlotte doesn't like getting attention more than others when they're with other people. And this is so true. This became, if y'all remember, their relationship and the fandom became a problem in the beginning of MGT. Y'all remember that? When they actually were, uh, Boss and all of them were actually complaining about how much Fa was getting shipped with uh, uh, Charlotte and vice versa to the point where people were ignoring the pageant and they were only focusing on the couple and people were coming to the event and it was not about the beauty pageant anymore. It was just about Ingfa and Charlotte. And so it started to take away and detract from not just the company overall or the pageant overall, but the other girls. And that's not fair. And Charlotte and Fa understand that. You know, they can't help that their love is extremely attractive to others and interesting and everybody loves it. But at the same time, they can do whatever and they will do whatever's in their power not to pacify or play into, you know, the fandom when they know it's going to overshadow somebody else. So to point proven, this part right here, Charlotte walked in. Wow, relax, relax. <laughs> it's loud. Charlotte walked in after everybody was already standing, right? Now, if you look at who this is, you got Miss you got Miss Grand International, Miss Grand International runner up and Miss Grand Thailand, Miss Grand Thailand, Miss Grand Thailand, Miss Grand Thailand. So, out of respect, Fa, if you watch this video, Charlotte walked in and she was going to go stand next to Fa out of habit again just like when the last joint she came to stand next to five out of habit that's her baby she automatically gravitates to where the baby's at okay but in this situation she looked up and she saw the those were queens and it's not she's her she's a queen 
but she's not like a Miss Grand Thailand level queen, okay? And so she recognized their titles and out of respect, she went to the back. Watch. They actually, in the Queens, five, P-Fi and all of them, they were gesturing for, look, P-Fi stepped back to make room. Charlotte, Charlotte said no and went and stood at the back of the line out of respect for them. Now, let me tell you something. Somebody said this very well. They basically, Char they said Charlotte has never used her relationship with Fa or taken it, yeah, used her relationship with Fa to advance. And that's very true. And I think that for Charlotte, she likes to emphasize that so that people don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But look, this is the picture. This is the other angle that I was telling y'all about where they look like they wanted to punch this, hold on, where they look like they wanted to punch this chick, yo. They both, when she, that's that's when she came and told Charlotte, Charlotte came and stood next to Fah, and she came, and she told it, she came in and told Charlotte to move, look at the both of them. Fah, Charlotte's looking like, Charlotte's looking like, why can't I stand here? Why can't I stand next to her? And Fah looking like, did you just tell my woman to move? <laughs> they both, she, Charlotte looking like, why can't I stand next to my woman? And Fah looking like, did you just tell my woman to move? Am I the only one that's seeing that? I probably am. Look, I, was, I haven't had much sleep. I'm drinking coffee right now. I told you I was up being delusional. We ain't even in the rabbit hole yet. This ain't even the rabbit hole. Just for y'all, just so y'all know, this is the segue into the rabbit hole. But y'all know me. I like to pontificate and elaborate, um, expound, so, so if you will. I think the coffee's kicking in. I'm getting jittery. <laughs> Caffeine overdose. But anyway, um, yeah, I love this picture. This they give it all the attitude, bro. They are giving all, they are such a bully couple couple, and I love it. They are such a bully couple, and I love it. They both are looking like, bitch, if I didn't have this gown on. <laughs> if I look, especially Fa. Fa is really in character today. Because Fa is looking like, did you just tell my woman to move? Did you just tell my woman to move? All right. Now, with that being said, with that being said, I think I'm ready to um transition into the, uh, I think I'm ready to transition into the rabbit hole. Y'all ready? Even if you're not, here we go. All right. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out before y'all start clicking off. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out before y'all start clicking out. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? <clears throat> I saw this tweet yesterday, 4.30 a.m. That's right around the time I'm normally up. I saw this tweet yesterday, early in the morning. Uh, yesterday morning, not this morning that just passed. Not the morning that I'm talking about. Well, no, no, yeah, that, yeah, just this morning. Yeah, what am I doing? I don't know. Yeah, just this morning. Wait, no. Wait, no, yeah, I saw it. I saw it yesterday, but I re-saw it this morning. Oh, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I saw it this morning, okay? Let's just put, leave it at that. I saw it this morning. Um, do you see what I see? And at first glance, I was like, no. I was like, those are two different... I, I knew that immediately that Ace was referring to the um, the Blazer. I knew. I knew I knew she was referring to the Blazers. Or he, I'm not certain. They were refer referring to the, uh, to the Blazers. Um... I said no. I was like, they're two different colors. They look like two different cuts. You know, I just, I, I couldn't see it. I didn't see it. I don't, you know what I mean? I was like, no, nah, I don't see it. And then I was like, for shits and giggles, for shits and giggles, I started looking again. And then I said, hmm, interesting. I said, you can't really tell because it does look like um, these pictures have been um, edited slightly. I'm talking about for color, saturation, and, and um, you know, like, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Backlight. Like, you know, it just looks like they have a may have, may have a filter or something on there. But if you can't tell, Charlotte is inside of a hotel and Fa is inside of a hotel too. But Fa is on a side where there's a lot of uh, uh, um, outdoor, outdoor lighting, like natural lighting, right? So it's like really, really bright on her side. Whereas Charlotte in these original pictures where she this picture has been lightened where she was at it was kind of muted because it was like more in the lobby you know under you know fluorescent lights and different things like that um so I said let me do let me do some digging let me do some digging let me see if this is really the same blazer because that's what um ace was implying and the reason why I was like let me see if this was the same blazer is because if you pay attention to the time and date right if you pay attention to the date Charlotte wore the blazer Fa wore the blazer yesterday at her event, right? Charlotte wore the blazer the day before. Now, it would imply that perhaps Fa stayed in the same residence as Charlotte did 
that night into yesterday morning. And then, you know, she grabbed that blazer because, you know, otherwise, otherwise, did she stop by Charlotte's house on the way to the hotel and grab the blazer? Because it's, it's Charlotte's blazer. And I'll prove that, too. Um, so let's get into it. Right. So I was like, OK, do you see what I see? I was like, let me dig. Let me dig. Let me dig. So the first thing I said was somebody wrote in the comments. They were like, it's not the same blazer. There's a lot of people that were like, no, they agree with me. Like my first take was like, no, nah, it's not the same blazer. They were like, no, it's a different color. And then, I, like I said, I was I, I reduced that to just the lighting. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Charlotte was in muted light. I was like, Fa was in natural light. So Fa's jacket looks white and Charlotte's jacket looks cream. It's cream. The, the blazer is cream. Both blazers are cream. It's just that sharp fall was where there was a lot of natural light, right? Told y'all this is a rabbit hole. Stick with me. Stick with me. So then somebody mentioned, because if you look at the picture of Fa, you can see the sleeves are pushed up. There's three buttons on the sleeve, right? Or, right, like right on the cuff. If you look at Fa, if you look at Charlotte's picture, if you blow that picture up, there are no buttons. You can't see any buttons, right? The other arm is cut off, and then the arm where she's holding her phone, you don't see any buttons. So they were like, dog, it's not the same jacket. It don't got the same buttons. Yes, the breast pocket is the same, and yes, the two uh, 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 the two waist pockets are the same. You know what I'm saying? The two lower pockets are the same. They're big, and they're deep, and they are usable. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, but you know, they don't got the same buttons. You know what? F it. They're right. So then, so then I pulled up this picture of the blazer. I blew it up and I said, okay, I was looking at it. And then this is when I compared uh, the pockets. I looked at, cause here's Foz. Okay. So I looked at the pockets. I said, yeah, it's the same pockets. I said the chest is the same chest pocket, same flappy uh, bottom pockets. See? Okay, cool. I said, if I'm looking at it, I don't see the whole of the blazer, but if I'm looking at it, this blazer looks like it has two. I told y'all this is a rabbit hole. Come with me now. Details, baby. Uh, I saw that this jacket has two buttons, right? Two buttons on the front. I couldn't tell if it had a third though because I can't see the whole jacket. So I knew it had two buttons. I had two buttons here. I knew it had breast pocket and then two flappy bottom pockets. So then I looked at Foz, uh blazer. It's got breast pocket two floppy pockets and as you can see you see that there are two buttonholes there are two buttonholes but again can't see the rest of the uh can't see the rest of the um blazer but based on where the picture cuts off on charlotte and based on where the picture cuts off on five it naturally would not be a third button down there because that would just be too low that would look weird that's more like a coat not a blazer <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so then i said so damn these jackets are the same, including the, uh, you see it's got like the cream lining, the clean, creamy kind of silk lining. Charlotte's, you can see that in Charlotte's too. Let me go back. You see, if you look into the sleeve, you can see that in Charlotte's too, right? Okay, cool, fine. So now you got everything about these jackets are the same, except for the three buttons on the sleeve and what some people perceive to be as the color, right? The hue. So what I had to do is I had to go and find another picture of Fa where she was in more muted light, okay? To see, to compare, and see if the jackets were the same color. So that's what I did. And what I found is here, if you look at the jacket, if you look at the jacket, it doesn't look white anymore, does it, right? It looks cream, it looks cream. Here's her holding the jacket. That is a cream jacket. That is not a white jacket. That is a cream jacket. She's in more muted light. She's in the more muted light, so you can see that that's a cream, that's a cream blazer, okay? Here's one more picture. High definition, so you can see. This one actually even has a little bit of the um of, of, of natural lighting too, but you can still see that is a cream blazer, just like Charlotte's. So now I said breast pockets the same, bottom pockets are the same, buttons on the front are the same. I said the only difference, the only thing I could not prove was the three buttons on the sleeve. So your girl went and I did some fucking research. I had to go dig to find a video or a picture of Charlotte wearing this cream blazer showing those three buttons. <clears throat> and I did. See her holding her hand up, walking behind fire. Y'all remember this video? Y'all remember this video? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Three buttons. So, 
I verified that this blazer, and as you can see in this picture, I also verified that this only had two buttons. It literally only has two buttons, just like the jacket I was wearing, only had two buttons. So once I verified that this blazer, God dang, she looked fine. Charlotte was looking, oh, look how she looking at her baby. Once I verified that this blazer was the same as this blazer, I then recognized, damn, that blazer looks familiar. Like more familiar than, oh, I just seen them both wearing that shit back and forth for the last few days. But like, meaning they're lit, come on, bro. That literally means they're sharing a domicile. This is what I was trying to tell y'all. I said, look, I said this, I said this, I said this, I said this. I said that we needed to enjoy the Inglot moments we were getting right before they filmed the love scene. I said this, I was like, if things, or no, I think it was, no, it was when they were having, it was in my reaction to, I said it in my reaction to um, them sitting at the dinner, the dinner live with the with the black blouse on and they were being all lovey, the, the day they, that day they were being all lovey-dovey and they went out to dinner with P-Sun and all them and they were sitting down having that conversation they were talking about being an imagined couple versus a real couple and I said it in that video, I said, okay, y'all see how clingy they are now and all this is going on, knowing Aquariuses. Fa was real cool showing y'all her relationship with Charlotte when it was more of just like a skinship and just, you know, more than a friend, more than a sister, but not quite a lover when it was in that stage. But I told y'all that when Fa gets serious, when she gets serious with Charlotte, I said, we're not gonna see them as much. We're not gonna get those moments as much because Aquariuses are private by nature. They are going to protect their relationship at all costs. Most Aquariuses are not very um, open about their relationships. And what I mean by that is they, they, we don't do like, we don't display them. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people do. Like I could be, I could be right now, I could be in a whole five year relationship and y'all would never know just based, based on the way I talk and the way that I behave you know, and I love that. You know what I'm saying? And as long as my partner would be cool with that, I would, I, that's how I would like to rock it. That's how I would like to keep going. Like, I, I don't, I don't, would, nobody needs to know. <laughs> nobody needs to know. You know what I'm saying? You can assume, but nobody uh, needs to know what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, just let people, leave people to wonder. Like I said, I love the way Beyonce and Jay-Z did it. Like, we all knew they, knew they were together, but they never admitted that shit. They just, they just went, had got married, had babies and everything like that. And then everybody was like, well, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but um, anyway, going back to this. So, like I said, I realized this blazer looked hella familiar. And I said, damn. I said, where have I seen that blazer before? And then I remember because I've been watching this video as of late because of What's her name? The girl that was in the pink dress that was flirting with Fa on the first day of the MGT events. Um, uh, oh, I forget her name. This hold on, this chick. So this chick right here, y'all, y'all, y'all remember this chick right here? Yeah. So remember when what I was saying was that blazer looked familiar, and I remembered that's the blazer from the night that this chick right here gave Fa and Charlotte those flowers at the um, Show Me Love episode two gala event. Charlotte was wearing the blazer then. Wait, this is that same blazer, y'all. Charlotte was wearing that blazer then. Okay? She was wearing the blazer this night. See, you can see that I did the full. I made sure I got this. I made sure I got this picture. So y'all be like, that could be any blazer. It's not the same one. Yes, it is. It's the same cream blazer with the same floppy pockets, with the same two buttons on the front, the same three buttons on the side, and the same breast pocket. Back at ta okay? I'm with you. I, I got it, okay? Same same cream blazer. And she's talking about some I'm single. <laughs> no, I mean uh, that's when I was talking about some I'm single. No, there no, that's why they were being so weird that night. And Nudie knew it. Nudie knows. Nudie bro, Nudie knows. All you gotta do is whenever Nudie is in a uh uh uh, uh the, on the same screen with Charlotte and Charlotte's talking about her and Inglot, just watch Nudie. 
Nudie will tell you the whole truth. And and the same thing with uh Ingva and Charlotte. When Ingva and Charlotte are on the same screen, watch Fa when Charlotte is talking. Charlotte's, I mean, Fa's eyebrows tell the whole story. <laughs> if her eyebrows start dancing, if they draw together, if they do something like this, just watch Fa. Or she be telling the whole story. But anyway, same cream blazer. Same cream blazer. And then, and then, and I'm not even joking, y'all. This is how the, my rabbit hole started. The, the rabbit hole started with, I saw Ace's tweet. I, when I saw Ace's tweet, I was like, mm, let me see. I did the little color correction check, saw that it was the same joint, checked all the details, saw all the details were the same. And then I went and I was like, oh, damn. I was like, yo, that joint looks familiar. And then I remembered that that shit was from this night, right? Okay. And then I remembered, I said, damn, that blazer looks familiar. I think I've seen one of them in that before. And I was right. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? Y'all, that's the same blazer. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like, Nikki, no, it's not. Look, if you look on far sleeve, far sleeve, you see one, two, three buttons. I know it's kind of blurry. You see three buttons, but don't worry, because I'm always here to prove my point. You see three buttons. Same. This is the this is the same. This is the same. Watch. Look it. Look it. Same two pockets on the front. I mean, same two buttons on the front. Same two floppy pockets on the side. Same breast pocket. Three buttons on the side. Three buttons on the sleeve. Watch. Three buttons on the sleeve. Look. Y'all remember what she said? Okay. Right here, you can kind of see the buttons on Fa's sleeve. You can kind of see them. But trust me, it's three buttons right there. This is the same. Trust me, this is the same blazer. So this blazer... This blazer right here, when I was being nasty and said, can I borrow this hand time, take it home? And the only one who reacted was Charlotte. <laughs> Cause she knew what she meant. Cause she knew what she meant. So like I said, um, this blazer is the same as this blazer. They're the same blazer, yeah. Yep. And y'all see how Fa... <laughs> Fa knows she ain't stupid. Fa slid right back towards her woman. And so, yeah, so that blazer is the same as this blazer. And, and so then this blazer is the same as this blazer, which is the same as this blazer. Okay? Uh... And uh, that was the that was the rabbit hole that I ended up down. Now, in going down this rabbit hole with the blazer, somebody else pointed out that Fa was wearing shoes yesterday that seemed like they was just a half size too big, right? I had time. I had nothing but time. I had nothing but time. You can actually see from the thumbnail right here, like you see it's like a half. Now I know a woman's, I know I don't wear heels, but I used to wear heels and I used to wear high heels, very, uh, very high stilettos. And I know that when you are wearing a heel, your foot does tend to slide forward. You know what I'm saying? That's why most women who wear heels all the time, like stilettos all the time, they normally have gorilla feet. <laughs> the straight knuckles, you know what I'm saying? Because them toes be like, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> and yes, that's the sound they make. Um, so, <laughs> this is the sound of gorilla feet. This is the sound of monkey feet. I don't know why this, y'all bear with me. I haven't had any sleep. So anyway, when I looked at these, that's what I was assuming. I was like, well, I expected there to be a little bit of room. You know what I'm saying? Um, as those are really high heels. But then I also looked at, I had to look closer and I looked. No, no, you ain't finna hit me with no copyright. I looked and I, I said, okay. And I was looking because we see what I was looking for. What I was looking for was I was looking to see how much of her toe was hanging off on the front, right? Because that really tells you, that can, that can really tell you if a shoe is too big or too small for you, right? Um, the Basically, just like her big toe was hanging off the front, but there was like a half inch. It was like a little bit of her big toe was kind of hanging off the front, which is expected for open toe shoes like that. And when they're that high, I expect that. I expect a little bit of that. But there was like a half inch of heel space behind her foot, behind her heel. And somebody pointed out that, yes, her and Charlotte have those shoes. They got them in, they, they got them in their Miss Grand Thailand days. So they both do have that shoe. But if you look at Fa's foot 
in this shoe, and then you look at her foot in the other shoe, it, it's not, it's, it's given, it's, <laughs> it's not given. And I know she's sitting down, I know she's sitting down, her heel could be pressed up against the back of the shoe, you know what I'm saying, versus when she's standing up and slide, but that was a lot of space, bro. That was a lot of space. And what I'm looking at here is that it looks like her toe is low key a little already hanging over, but there's still not that much space in the back. You get what I'm saying? Like if you look at her at the heel, that's like, what's that her, that's her, looks like her left leg. If you look at her left leg, it looks like her toe is hanging over just a little bit, but you notice in the back, I wish I could, can I blow that up? Let me, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's as close as I can get. But if you look right here, you notice her toe is kind of hanging over the front. But there's not that much space. There's not that much space back there. Versus, look at how much fucking space is back there, dog. Look at how, bro, come on now. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Her foot slid that much. Then why isn't it like hanging over, clawing at the front of that, um, at the front of that hill? Because I've seen that. That's unattractive. But I've seen people's toes doing it, like hanging over their life, dog. Like, like somebody hanging onto a cliff. It's crazy. But anyway, but anyway saw that and i was just like you know i i was like god is i was like bro is this a rabbit hole yes it is a rabbit hole i said but did i just prove that they probably have been spending the night at the house spending the night with each other for the last few nights yes i think i did and the thing about it is um the thing about it is it's none of our business i could be completely wrong I, they maybe they both have that blazer maybe they both have that blazer i could be completely wrong they could both have that blazer. So this could, this is all just, you know, it's all speculation. It's all fun, you know? I just, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it, um, what you think it means. And like I said, don't be concerned about how they're behaving. You're going to see them act very distant and professional, probably for the remainder of the month. But again, like I said, don't study. Don't worry, baby. They come into the United States. And, and I got to correct myself. They're not going to be here for a month. They're going to be here for like two and a half weeks. Bruh. That's a two and a half week vacation for them, basically. They gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna love it. They're gonna be here from the 17th of May, which is my father's birthday, from the 17th of May to the 31st. They're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. We're gonna love it. But I really am, I'm really happy for them because I don't think that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna have moments where they don't have to share. And I think that that's really what they want. Now that I think that they're getting more serious with each other, y'all are not gonna get the same kind of moments because before it was fun and it was cool but now you got to understand once they incorporate their feelings and they really acknowledge their feelings and they lock in on that, at that point, it starts to feel like exploitation. You notice if you follow uh, Easy and Natalie, you notice that now that their relationship has gotten so much more real and so much more serious, you know what I'm saying? Like you notice they're not posting as much. They're not. They're not. They're not posting as much. And, and it's because they're like they're they're like protecting and preserving their relationship from from being exploited. And I know that sounds weird because you're like, they made their platform, but yeah, they made their platform based off of friendship. So did, so did Charlotte and Five. There was a mutual and a, a, and a admitted and acknowledged attraction between them. But at the end of the day, they were friends. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, friends who just knew that they were attracted to each other in a non-platonic way, but they settled for friendship because that was all they could have at the time. And now things are opening up for them and they're able to go and be in a more um, explorative space, like I said, for their friendship and their relationship. And I believe that they are get getting serious. You can tell they're getting serious just by the way Fi is acting around other women. She went from like being like all like flirting and doing all this other stuff to being like very, <laughs> very standoffish. This still gets me. This will always get me. Look at the way Fi was so concerned she was, bro, she was so concerned with the way Charlotte was looking. Charlotte, and Charlotte peeped it. She, Charlotte was like, bitch, get your hands off my woman. Look. The way she was pulling far away from Charlotte was crazy, though. Like, you got to relax. What are you even pulling on her for? And But you see, Fa, Fa looked at her, Fa looked at Charlotte, and she looked. She made sure she repositioned herself and then leaned towards Charlotte like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> You're not going to have me sleeping on the couch tonight. I love that moment. And then again, this moment right here, this moment right here, Charlotte said, turned and said goodbye to the girl. Fog wasn't even going to acknowledge her. Fog was just going to walk off. She was, you see, she was focused on Charlotte. She was just going to walk off. Old girl had to tap her. And Char if I turned around like, yeah, yeah, thanks for the flowers, bitch. Like, like, like you out here trying to get me hemmed up. 
Like, leave me alone. It's the same way she was acting with her when they were standing on the stage a couple of days ago and Fa didn't know what to do with her hands. And she was like, all right. And like, cause old girl kept touching her and holding on to her. And Fa was like, yeah, cause you know, so Fa started flagging planes and shit. Like, <laughs> like, bro, leave me alone. My woman is right there. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. She said, leave me alone. But I, again, the blazer thing, I'm just, you know, the reason why I wanted to do this little deep dive is because one, like I said, I saw a lot of people was kind of like nutting up a little bit about how the girls have been acting over the last few days and some of the things that Charlotte said about, you know, not smiling and she posted, you know, healing and all this other stuff. And, you know, there's, I think what they are going through, I don't think it has anything to do with them as Inglot. Um, I think it has more to do with their friendships and what's going on in the company and, you know, just how it's affecting them, you know, it, I'll, I'll get into I'll get into the drama of MG of what happened tomorrow. We'll get into that tomorrow. I don't want to ruin this with that, but I think I want to reassure you guys. You know, Inglot is still in a safe space. They're still safe zones for each other, um, and I think that they are, like I said, they are having moments that we don't get to see. I love that for them. In small ways, just like with Becky and Freen, in small ways they're showing us. Like I, I, the point of the blazer is. Of the, of the blazer rabbit holes to tell you that in small ways they're showing us that you know uh they're showing the world that they're, they're together they're showing the world that they care and that they exchange and you know that you know they are precious to one another and important to one another they're showing that don't don't make them have to say it and don't make them have to defend it and don't make them have to explain it because that's when people really start to shut down that's when people really start to shut down i mean you see what's going on with uh freen and becky like, it, you got to stop, man. <laughs> I tell you guys, ship with caution. I love how Charlotte and Ingfa said that. Ship with caution. I'm going to put that shit on a t-shirt. Ship with caution. Like, stop being weird, man. Stop being weird. Stop trying to force them to fit into your box. Look, if they're together, they're, they're together. If they're not, they're not. If they, you know, break up or they have a fight, like, they, couples do that. Let, let, let Stop it. Stop, stop it. Every bad mood is not about each other. Every tweet is not about each other. Stop it. Stop it. And stop slow doing slow motions and putting music to stuff. Y'all get me in my feelings. <laughs> stop it. No, I'm kidding. Please keep doing that. I love being in my feelings. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini rabbit hole. If you did, please be sure. Hold on, let me make sure. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Oh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. I did want to note this. This is important. We've seen this. Uh, we've seen several different clips of Charlotte um using Fa's phone i don't think that y'all understand what that translates to i want y'all to all take a moment real quick and think about this who in your life has access has full access to your phone and i'm talking about if you're a grown-up if you're a kid maybe your parent <laughs> like relax but if you are a full grown adult paying your own bills living on your own Doing your thug thizzle, got your own company, doing everything like that. You a boss. Who in your life has full access to your phone to the point where they know your passcodes and they're opening accounts for you on your phone and you know they can you can you just give them your phone and they can walk off with it? Who? Who? Nah, I mean I'm I'm so serious. Who in your life? Take a moment and think about that. Because we be thinking like, oh, man, I let my friend use my phone. Yeah, you let your friend use your phone. Who lets, who in your life has full access to your phone to the point where they can walk off with it, okay? To the point where they can open open and close accounts for you. To the point where they they have full access to do whatever they want and you not even mind, you, you just letting them, who? Probably the same person you hand your bank card to and don't ask no questions to, huh? <laughs> Probably the same person you would hand your bank card to without even blinking or, uh, or, or taking a second thought about it, huh? Come on, y'all. Come on. Relax. 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 Okay? Relax. I'm going to end it with this video, and I'm going to end it like by telling y'all, relax. <laughs> but, yeah, who, who does this? I know that went right, like that went hella fast, but who who does this? That's Fa's phone. That's Fa's phone. How do you know? Charlotte's phone has a pink case. Fa's phone has that black case right there. That's Fa's phone. 
And Fox standing sitting there looking like a whole husband. And Charlotte standing up there looking like a whole wife. Like, who been texting us? <laughs> Where are your bank notes? <laughs> Look, believe what you want to believe. That's what we're all here to do is believe what we want to believe. But um, I personally, I personally think that everybody who is tripping, because not everybody's tripping. Most of the people who are used to this are used to this. And that's funny because they were saying, a lot of people were saying like, oh, it's the newbies, it's the newbies. I'm a newbie. I consider myself a newbie to England. I won't, like I said, I've only been following them for like a month and a half and I wasn't tripping. Everything that I've seen over the last few days, I've been like, oh, okay. And you got to realize that the more coupley they become and the more serious they become, they're not going to be in each other's faces. You get to see each other when you go home. What You don't need to be in each other's faces. See, before they had to take advantage of the time or the moments that they saw each other because they didn't go home to each other. But when you go home to that person, you're not pressed to see them at work. <laughs> like You're like, well, hey, what's up? What's up? Like, I'm going to be in the bed with you tonight. We're going to shower together. We're going to make dinner. These are the things I imagine they do together in my delusional mind. Anyway, I better get off the internet. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to give y'all this quick little video, but I do need to go and enjoy the rest of my day off. I love you guys. I hope you guys are safe wherever you are. I hope you guys are at peace wherever you are. I hope you guys are being loved wherever you are. And focus on the love, y'all, not the drama. You know what I'm saying? If you are going to focus on the drama, come and focus on the drama with me because, you know, I find a way to make it lighthearted and take the animosity out of it. But with that being said, so listen, Nation, if you guys did enjoy this reaction as much as I did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't be afraid to share. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. And if you've been here before, then you already know I got to hit y'all with the <gasps> deuces. <laughs>